Welcome, this is the unboxing, setup, and demonstration of the ASUS VT229H. I found this on Amazon for $199 as of July 2020, so prices can vary. I have the link below in the description. Let's get to the unboxing. Feel free to skip forward, I'll leave a timestamp in the description below. This display is 21 and a half inches diagonally. It is a full 1080p display with a 10 point multi-touch sensor as I'll demonstrate later. On the bottom of the stand there is a wide screw with a pop-up handle that you can use to tighten the base to the display once it's aligned. This monitor is VESA compatible, as you'll see the four mounting points on the back, 100 by 100 millimeters. You get a USB cable required to send touch signals, a 3.5mm cable for the built-in dual speaker, an HDMI cable, a VGA cable, and a three-prong power cord, and finally literature. Here's a display hookup, three wires, power cord, video cable, HDMI in my case, and USB cable. Next is the connection to the PC, and yeah, don't mind the wires. After all the connections, press the power button on the bottom far right. You should see your desktop right away. If not, you might need to go to display settings to set up the additional monitor, which I'll show you in a few seconds. On your desktop, right click and go to display settings. Press the identify button to figure out what number the new display is. In my case, it is number three. Click that certain box and move it to the correct alignment in reference to the other displays. Unfortunately, this display is not plug and play because as I touch the screen, the inputs are showing onto the main display, but I'll show you how to change this. And just as proof, this is a 10 point multi touch screen. Okay, open up settings, which can be accessed from the start menu button on the left side or the bottom right of the notification button. Type in the word calibrate, 
select calibrate screen for pen or touch input. A dialog box opens and then from the drop down menu select the touchscreen monitor which in this case is the ASUS VT229. All monitors will go to a white blank screen. One monitor at a time it asks you to press the enter button if it is not the touchscreen monitor. And once the prompt gets to the touchscreen monitor do not press enter rather touch the screen. And that's it. Now let's bring a window over and see how it does. states that it does have a 178 degree viewing angle from both sides thanks to an IPS panel. This video recording doesn't really justify how good it looks from both sides but take my word for it. Alright, so for the next four to five minutes, I'll be demonstrating typical use of this touchscreen. Keep in mind that every application might not support finger scrolling. However, any menus within the Windows UI are typically scrollable and Google Chrome as well. Zooming within the web page seems pretty responsive. Looks of it, tap touch seems pretty instantaneous and responsive. However, there is a slight lag slash delay as it tracks finger movement across the screen. I'm impressed that even selecting smaller icons is pretty accurate, and I'll demonstrate this by opening up a video editor, specifically DaVinci Resolve. It's great for timeline work when you're trying to rearrange clips. As I mentioned before, not all programs will be configured for touch, such as this one. However, you can make this a little more user friendly by going back into display settings and changing the percent scaling from 100% to maybe 125 or 150%. Maybe you might not like the look as you increase the display scaling. An alternative can be to buy a stylus pen that's compatible for touchscreens, preferably one that has a narrow tip. So for intricate work like this, you can get by by just using your finger, so it is possible.
that's a wrap for this video. If you are interested in purchasing this very touchscreen monitor, I do have a link below. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and as always, stay awesome.